So do you know that even up until now, our children still amazed with slime because it looks sticky but it's not stick and also they can turn into many shapes and structures. But did you know that researchers already step up their game and create a slime robot? Yes, you heard me, slime robot. It could be the futures of robotics. Okay now, the thing is that slime, it looks like liquid but actually it can act like a solid because when you put slime inside a cup, it takes the structures of the cup, correct? And then when you try to throw the slime, the slime can sometimes bounce also. So it could take this, uh, the structures of the solid. So in this world, we have three types of matter. We have gas, for example, carbon dioxide. We have solid, like ball. And also we have liquid, like water. But this slime, it has both. It has solid and liquid characteristics. These three types of matter is actually the Newton fluid. But for non-Newton fluid, they don't play by this rule. They have two different characteristics in one time. Same as like slime. They can be liquid and they can also be solid. So, in, from the researchers from University of Chinese in Hong Kong and the leaders of the researchers is Professor Zhang, they wanted to create a soft bodies robot that are soft enough to go inside human bodies but hard enough to encircle or trap objects. So by doing this, by having this, they need a soft robot that can have both structures, both characteristics, which are slime. So the thing is that how this slime can turn into robot. This slime can turn into robot when and they add this tiny magnetic particle. This tiny magnetic particle is known as neodymium magnet. Okay, this neodymium magnet is very, very tiny. So these researchers try to put two tiny magnetic particles, which is the neodymium magnet, and then they try to control the robot by one magnet will be the arm that anchor to something, and the other one will the one that encircle or trap the objects, like the octopus arm. Isn't it amazing, right? So how? How they can self-heal? So firstly, it's because in the slime, they have the oxygen, they have hydrogen, and also they have borax ion. So these researchers try to cut the slime robot into small parts. Okay? When they cut into small parts, they found out that each part started to connect to each other again. This is because of the oxygen-hydrogen bonds that occur between one part to the other parts. Okay? So what is the significance actually when they created slime robot? It's because that they wanted a slime robot, a robot that can help the doctors. For example, you accidentally ate um, a battery, right? So how are the doctors are going to take the batteries? Other than surgery, they can use slime robot that can go inside your body and then this slime robot can take out the battery use, uh, by using the user controller. Besides that, this slime robot also can help in terms like because they have this magnetic particles right so they can also conduct electricity so because of it for example there are broken circuit inside the wall so they can use this slime robot to heal or to connect the circuit board okay to to repair the circuit board at the place that are hard to reach is it now commercial no it's not commercial yet they are still in review because they need to make sure that is this slime robot safe for human use so let's wait let's hope that this slime robot could be the future of robotics and another thing that I love about this is that how basic chemistry and physics could be the future of our robotics world. That's all.